Hey everyone, Morgan here. So today I'm going to try to make three things out of Gorilla Tape. Now, before I even get started, this is not a DIY. This is not instructions on how to do these things. I'm gonna put directions on, links to directions on how to do these things down below in the description box. So if you wanna see how to do these for yourself, go to those links um, as that's where I've found to be mostly helpful stuff. But just go to Google and search for like duct tape projects, Gorilla Tape projects. Now, you know, making stuff out of like duct tape, you know, tape in general has been around for a long time, okay? People have been doing it for a very long time. So, um, you know, there's nothing new here. You know, everybody makes like duct tape wallets. That's like a really big one. But I like Gorilla Tape. I feel like it's a lot stronger. I carry Gorilla Tape in my bags. I don't carry this size. This is 35 yards. Um, if I could justify the weight of carrying this in my bag, I totally would. Uh, but uh, usually I'll carry two of the little mini Gorilla Tapes. And I've actually had to use the Gorilla Tape for some cordage and I've used it to uh, repair my tent. Um, so Gorilla Tape has really come in handy for me in the past. But, you know, I wanna try to just play around with it and make some projects. So I'm going to be making flip-flops. I'm going to be making a bowl and I'm going to be making cordage. Those I feel like are pretty important. If you guys have ever seen um, the Mistbusters where they do all those sorts of projects with duct tape, I mean, they're obsessed with duct tape, right? Um, I, that's where I really, really got inspired. Like I've always been like, yeah, I can make stuff out of tape, but that I saw those episodes and I was like super inspired. You know, they've made an entire boat out of, uh, you know, on a raft out of duct tape. Of course, you need a lot of tape to do that kind of stuff, but you know, you can always make like a sleeping mat. You can try to make some sort of shelter out of it. I mean, there's lots of stuff you can make out of it. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna be attempting is making flip-flops. Um, it says to use cardboard and trace it, and you know, trace your foot out on cardboard. Um, if you don't have cardboard, like if you're trying to make flip-flops out in the field, you can find like a piece of bark and try to cut out your foot or some sort of foot-ish shape out of bark. You know, if you didn't have any sort of anything, no bark, no nothing that you could potentially use that would be good for a sort of template, all you would do is you would just take duct tape uh, or whatever tape you have and you would just kind of layer it on top of each other until you had like a whole shoe. And then you would just do what I did here, um, you know, with pushing it through and taping it on the other side and then, you know, this would be your flip-flop. So, you know, you don't have to use a template. I'm just using a template because that's the resources that I have available to me right now. Ta-da! <laughs> There's a couple little pieces back here that I could probably cover up, you know. If this were a real flip-flop that we're making, it would be a whole thing. Um, but it, it feels pretty good. It actually feels really soft. Let me put it on my foot. So I could definitely make the strap a little bit further down. Like I'm kind of putting my foot up and see my toes are coming out the front, the, but that's okay. Um, I thought I had it good, but I didn't, but that's okay. You know, um, it, it feels comfortable. You know, you really just want to make sure that nothing is poking you or anything, but yeah, it, you know, having some sort of barrier between you and the ground can be helpful. You know, you may even want to put another strap up here just to make it nice and extra secure. Okay, so there's a few different ways that you can make cordage. Um, what you could do is you could take, you take it, and then you just start basically twisting it in on itself. Like this. By doing that, you're, you're basically just taping everything to itself, making a strand of cordage. You could also take a couple pieces and kind of do this, like that, and then you could twist from there to make it even stronger. Uh, you know, you may have sticky on the outside. Um, I like this single way of doing it. It's nice and clean. There's also another way in which you take two strands and you fold them in half. You leave space on the ends, or you leave um, the sticky part on the end. You'll connect them. Okay. 
And then you're gonna twist one this way. You should hold it in my mouth. So this way, and then you, yeah, okay. And then you twist it the other way. So you're essentially twisting them different ways, and then you twist them together. Then you tape them together at the end and see now you have a nice, really super strong and super tight braided uh, cord. And it's not unraveling because you uh, turn them separate ways, if that makes sense. So there's this one, you know, there's the this simple single one. So nice thing with this is that you can keep attaching, you know, um, more lengths to it. So I would do like um, maybe a foot at a time because a foot is probably the longest that you can actually manage at a time. So um, yeah, just take a foot, do another foot, attach, attach, attach until you get your desired length. Now for the bowl. The bowl is probably not gonna be the hardest, but it'll definitely be the most technique driven one. Um, so let me work on that. Can you see how the bowl is coming together? The corner is like the hardest part <laughs> getting that corner because tape's not supposed to go that way and I have a little piece that I need to get in the corner there but it's coming together you see it boom <laughs> a little bowl out of duct tape pretty cool I like it a lot uh, the corners really messed me up like every time I did it but uh, I, this could definitely hold water like if I need to collect water I couldn't boil the water in this or anything but if I need to collect water, I definitely would. Um, you know, I don't think it would give the water any weird taste or anything. Yeah, I, I think this is really cool. So today I made a one flip flop. <laughs> I need to make the other one. I made a bowl and I made the start to some cordage um, all out of Gorilla Tape. And the total time it took me was about 45 minutes to do all of this. Um, you know, there's lots of stuff you can do with, with tape in general, Gorilla Tape, Duct Tape, whatever. And I think that these are really fun projects that you can get like uh, your family members into, especially kids. Like, let's say it's an emergency or disaster and you know, you wanna take your kids' minds off of what's going on or keep them busy while you focus on other stuff or something like, hey, make a bowl out of Gorilla Tape, go. You know, or hey, make a flip flop out of Gorilla Tape, go, or whatever, like do something out of Gorilla Tape. You know, I mean, I have a whole bunch of these rolls and look, I barely made a dent in this 35 yard roll. Um, you can make a lot out of uh, duct tape. You know, have some of this stuff at home, have it in your vehicle, you know, if you want to carry one of these with you in your bug out bag, go for it. Hey, I'm actually considering <laughs> carrying this big old one. Why not? <laughs> um, you know, I mean, there's lots of great, great uses. You can use your imagination, go online and get ideas um, and just have some fun with it. You know, like I said, it took me about 45 minutes to do all of this. Totally fun. Now I, I know and feel confident that I can make cool stuff out of Gorilla Tape, cool, useful stuff out of Gorilla Tape. So thank you all so much for watching. If you like my videos, come visit my website at roguepreparedness.com and come visit my social media channels at, uh, you know, Facebook and uh, Instagram. <laughs> I had to think there for a second. And I have a whole bunch of free stuff on my website, so go check it out. Um, thank you all so much for watching. Conquer tomorrow by preparing today. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.